huge tank in which the sarcophagus was placed. End of quote. So what happened was the rock, which is here a hardened sand, was excavated to form the central hollow or pit, which was intended to receive the sarcophagus chamber. Into this hollow in the rock, the enormous quartzite monolith chamber weighing over 110 tons, which was hewn out to form the sarcophagus chamber, was sunk, and the sarcophagus and two chests were next placed inside it. Then trenches which were to form the passages leading to it were cut also. Next on this incredible structure rested the horizontal slabs of stone, which were to form a kind of roof. The purpose of the false passages on Petrie's scheme, then, actually could serve the purpose. These exist not to confuse the robbers, but were an ingenious device. So the last great quartzite ceiling slab was lowered to close the